uh, looks weird, but then this time, check here. Huh? Check here. What what do you think? It is a nice laptop or not? I mean, I know it's Lenovo, but it's like brand new. Huh? We have Ryzen 7, we have uh, Radeon uh, in, um, onboard graphics, and then we have NVIDIA RTX uh, GPU. So this is a nice, if you ignore the, ignore the fact, uh, the fact actually it's a Lenovo, it's quite a nice laptop. Now check the charger. <laughs> check the charger. This is insane. You know, check on the size of the charger. 300 watt charger. I mean, whatever is going wrong on this laptop, it will not survive and something goes wrong. What the customer is saying, I suspect something bad like a short on the motherboard as it died while playing a game and the battery was 50%. So the customer was playing the game and the laptop suddenly died. So I'm not going to plug the charger. Let's just open and try to have a look inside. Inside of this nice laptop. Okay, so the back cover, it's out. Uh, I believe the customer unplugged the, unplugged the battery. Uh, so someone did open the laptop. Uh, Interesting. So what we can check? We can check the main power rail, but where we can check the main power rail? That's a good question. I mean, we have to take out the heatsink. Or maybe on that capacitor? Let's see. <laughs> two ohms. Check on the screen, two ohms. I mean, it's nothing worse compared with a two ohms main power rail. I mean, clearly this must be some shorted MOSFET. And if it's two ohms, probably it's the GPU. Or can be the CPU, can be the CPU also. Yeah, the AMD has low resistance. And the heat sink, it's out. Mm, proper dry thermal paste. I mean, look at the GPU. So this GPU is exactly like a like a like a normal desktop GPU. Look at the size of the GPU. Now let's check something because I'm interested. No, it's not a VRAM. It's not a VRAM. The GP, the CPU, eight ohms. Probably not. Probably it's not the CPU. The GPU. GPU 1.4 ohms, yeah, probably is the GPU. This looks dodgy. I swear this looks dodgy. But let's check together. Yes, I will come with the I will come with the power supply. I will lower the voltage to 0 0.8 volts. Now the board still has a seal here, so no one took the board out. Probably. Whoever checked the laptop figured it out quickly, you know, there's <laughs> nothing here what can be repaired. Probably. So we have, what do we have here? Three amps, 005008. So here is the, here is the main power rail. And which one? Bet quickly, quickly place your bet. The GPU looks weird, right? Compared with the CPU, so the CPU is not that warm compared with the GPU. Uh huh. Check out the GPU. <laughs> and the MOSFET uh, is that one. Is the one with is this one, yeah? So this is the shorted MOSFET. <sighs> that sucks, you know. I mean, hopefully, I'm not sure how this is working with the onboard uh, 
at iradion graphics. Not sure if it will still be working. So let's remove this MOSFET. So this is a fully thingy. I mean, you have two MOSFETs inside and also the driver is inside. Yeah? It's like an all-in-one. I mean, it makes sense because the customer said it was playing. We are with 480 degrees just to understand how this board is sucking the heat so badly. Four hundred eighty, and I cannot desolder this. I mean, the motherboard is great. I mean, you can see how it's spreading the heat quickly. No, I can't take it out. Let's let me rise to sixty percent the airflow. Finally, finally we desolder the, uh, the MOSFET. Okay, so the MOSFET is out, the board is still shorted. That's the question. No, it's not shorted anymore. No. No. All good. Let's cool the board down a little bit. I mean, we should have, we should have a working laptop. <laughs> Let me put back the heat sink. Okay, let me try to plug uh, a charger. Okay, so plug in the original charger. Let's plug the battery first. The battery is plugged in. The charger is plugged in and nothing blow up. Now pressing the power button and the laptop is coming on. You can see the laptop it's on, check on the RGB on the keyboard. Let's see if we have any picture. We have picture, I can't believe. So uh, this is the picture from the onboard graphics. Huh? That's the question. Because if the GPU is still good, which I doubt that, then I can, you know, I can replace, uh, I can replace that MOSFET. But I will not replace till the moment I, uh, you know, I'm testing to be sure uh, the graphic is working. I mean, this is switching graphics, so it will switch to NVIDIA only when, uh, you know, the onboard Atira Dion is like 100% loaded. Okay, let me try to get the customer password. So check here, check here. This is unbelievable. This is the first laptop, first.
ever. How the fuck the GPU is still good? How this is possible? Huh? The GPU is still good. I can't believe. I'm gonna download the application to check the GPU, but usually you'll see a yellow sign on the GPU. That's crazy. That's insane. How this GPU is still good? Hmm? How is possible? I'm checking the GPU, the, the RTX 3070. You can see? It's saying here on the bottom. Here. I start a render test. Yeah? We can see the GPU is loaded like... Uh, we have like 30% GPU load, something like that. But the GPU is still good. Which is insane. I never, ever found something like that. I mean... We removed, yeah, proper hot. We remove a MOSFET, huh? I mean, of course, I do expect to be working. You know how the GPU are working? The, the GPU power supply? Wow, it's so hot. Uh, let me explain you. Unplug the battery. Let's take out, yeah, let's take out the heatsink and check on the GPU phases. So we took out the heatsink. So you see, you have how many? Five GPU power supplies. So if you check with the multimeter, you can see those are connected together. So every solder from here is connected together and is going to the GPU. Now let me draw something, because not many people knows about this. One, two, three, four, five, yeah? Have in mind. So those are the GPU power supplies, okay? And uh, they are supplying power on the same point, yeah? To the GPU core. Now, how they are supplying power, that's important to understand. Now you will think, okay, so every power supply to supply like, okay, on idle 0 0.8 volts and that's the reason why here we'll have high current. Now what does mean high current? Yeah. Realistic speaking, realistic speaking, what do you have here? It's around 40 to 50 amps. Yeah, that's what you have here. And uh, I seen on, on one video that people said, uh, sorry, but how the, you know, can you can have this current, this kind of current. And we made a video on the other channel about how the back converters are working, how you trade voltage for current. So yeah, those power supply, the output, it's around 40, 50 amps. Yeah, actually, if you take a wire from each and you bring them together, you can weld. <laughs> okay, just to understand. Now, what is important, why they are called, uh, why this is called phase, yeah? Why they are not called like power supplies. When you buy a motherboard, yeah, it will tell you how many phases it has. Now, the output of the power supply is the same with like uh, tri-phase mains, yeah? So, you have something like that. But the next one, yeah, the next phase it's about 180 degrees uh, delayed. Yeah, so each phase is 180 degrees. Okay, on our case, we have five. So five, these are back converters. Yeah, so they are like this. So this is the first one. Then when the, when the first one is going off, then the second one is coming into, is switching on. Then the next one, when this is going off, the next one is coming on. And then the next one here is coming on. And then the last one here is coming on. So in this way, that's how the power supplies are covering over, uh, over a cycle. Yeah? So each power supply is supplying power on a very precise uh, phase delay one to the other and obviously when this is ended yeah the last one the first one will start again so how they are that's how they are working 
So what we did, we cut down the number uh, five. We cut down the number five. So this part of the face is uncovered. It, the GPU, it will still work, but the other power supplies, they have to supply more power. So, I mean, you can have it working. Probably you can game, it will be no problem, but those, it will get hotter. So we have to replace that driver. You know what? You know what? This ship is sick. I mean, they are able to provide up to 50 amps. I mean, even on four drivers, like right now, are four left. It should be able to supply the power for this GPU. I mean, 50 amps, just to understand what this ship is capable to output. Yeah, you can see it's quite a complicated one. That's the schematic of the chip. Boy, it's pretty cool. I mean, you can see inside of the chip, yeah? So you have the chip. Inside of the chip, you have the both MOSFETs. You see here? You have two MOSFETs here? Yeah. That's why this is all in one. Uh, a power supply and all you need you need like a coil and I mean you can even build a 50 amps power supply with this chip now the problem is this is D and I don't know what D means I mean this is D and on the Mauser the D is not available uh, the D is available yeah, but not the normal one. So on the, in the laptop, I have the normal one. That's the problem. And on the normal one, he's saying no stocked. Call for code. I mean, the price of one is like two pounds thirty-five. I mean, it's proper cheap, proper cheap. On eBay, on eBay, I can buy without D. I don't know what that D means. Yeah, I can buy without D from uh, from China. Oh, these are five picks. Okay, I got it. And this one is with D, the same from China. From China is more expensive compared with the one from Mauser. So not sure what should I do. I should buy this one without D, or I should buy the one, uh, the one from Mauser. You know what? I will publish this video before it's before the job is done. And uh, maybe you know what D means. I mean, this is the normal one. This is the one from the laptop and has exactly the same specification. So what is the difference between this one and the D? Hmm? So this one is with D. What is the difference? Because they are not saying, and that's what is pissing me off. I mean, what is the difference? Why is D? And why this is not D? Exactly same dimension you can see on the and same pinout. It's no difference. Okay, so I'm going to publish this video. Please let me know if you know the difference between the normal one and the one with D at the end. Just to know if I should order that one from China or I should just get it from uh, from Mauser. Good? That's fantastic. I'm uh, impressed. I never thought I would, uh, you know... I will reach the day, I will see, I short at MOSFET, but the GPU is still good. Probably because the GPU is very strong. I mean, you know, this is a big GPU. Probably the input circuit, this one, act quickly and cut down the power before the things got worse. But I'm impressed, yeah, I'm impressed. This is the first laptop ever I found with a shorted MOSFET and actually the chip is still good after I remove the chip. Hmm. 
Okay, so I'm gonna stop now. I will say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, like all this, and see you on the next one. Bye.